Hi everyone, so today we're here with this BMW M140i. So this has been kindly loaded to us from TPC to do a little bit of testing with. There's a few little products we're actually gonna be looking to put onto this vehicle. So mainly it's gonna be intake. So we're gonna go down a similar route to what we did with IndyK43, which is for the Toyota Yaris GR, which is an upper carbon airbox. So you can keep that lower airbox in place. You've still got that same inlet trapped going into it. But then what we do is obviously we've got a smoother um, upper airbox carbon, so it looks a little bit nicer. And also it's got a cone filter with it as well. In order to add on to that, we've added a little bit to the actual diameter of the inlet hose as well. Stock on the airbox side of these is 80 mil. We've pumped that up to 90 mil. Um, just to make sure we're getting as much air as possible and it also means we can use one of our tried and tested cone filters too. So as I said the testing so far has gone pretty well, we've done some stock runs, we've gone and we've just put the inlet hose on as you can see here. We've then done some power runs to see if there's any difference there and then the next one we're going to do is obviously actually swap in the airbox itself. This is just going to be a 3D printed prototype at this point as you've seen us do with a lot of videos now. So we can put that on, we can do a few runs, do some testing with it and see what kind of figures we're going to get. So here we can see the differences between the stock upper airbox and our 3D printed prototype for the upper airbox for this BMW. So you can see there's going to be a slight similarities between the two of them. Um, obviously they're both trying to fit into the same shape of the lower airbox. What we've been able to do is grab a little bit more room with the top just to get a bit more airflow coming into it. We've got some louvers coming down the front side as well just to grab a little bit more airflow because there's a tiny bit we can grab. Um, obviously this is going to be really helpful when you're looking at your stage one, stage two plus vehicles. Um, just that little bit of extra airflow to make a big difference. And the most important part, as we said, is going to be how we're getting that airflow in. So we're swapping out from a, your standard uh, filter. Obviously this has got a slight performance one inside it with a cone filter in here. Again, being able to grab a lot more airflow coming in. Did also mention as well that we did up the sizing on the, uh, the intake diameter. This is gonna suit the inlet hose that we're gonna be releasing alongside it as well. So all in all, more airflow is gonna be the, the aim of the game here. And we'll be able to see what the results are on the dyno now. So this is FM INLH25. So this is gonna be that inlet hose for this M140i. So as we can see, there's uh, some similarities. And the fact is a very simple hose going from the same shape, but we've been able to really smooth it out and increase the diameter on the, on the upper airbox end. We can also see as well this, uh, this noise restrictor uh, is sat on the side, it's a pretty bulky item from the stock, um, which we've also been able to remove. So not only is this going to smooth the airflow out, it's not going to have any restrictions in there, should mean a little bit extra power as well, and at worst case you're going to be hearing a, a bit more intake hopefully as well. So you also you can see the differences here, a little bit bigger, definitely more flowing. So it's gone absolutely perfectly. So we've been able to test from the stock to Iron LH25 just being that inlet hose and the Vine DK50 being the full intake. With all of that put on, we've managed to see some great gains, which is fantastic. We'll have a bit of a run through now and just sort of go through each individual step and the changes we've seen. So we can see in red is gonna be our stock figures, and then the blue here is just Iron LH25, so just the inlet hose with the factory upper airbox. So we can see that with the stock, we look at an engine power of about 348. And then with ILH25, we're looking 357. So it's picked up really nicely there. Um, torque as well, we grabbed a little bit there. So 501.6 to 508.4. And you can see the times and the temperatures in the, in, in the cell have all, all been done same day, same kind of time. So there's no differences there. So all of these figures are really positive for us with this. So we can see some great gains across uh, mid-range as well, which is really nice, it's picking up all the way through to the red line. So you're going to feel that as a complete pull as soon as you get into the throttle, which is fantastic. So what we'll now do is I'll quickly put up INDK50 and INLH25 so we can compare that against stock and just the hose itself. So what we've now done is we've put on INDK50 and INLH25 onto the screen so we can have a bit of a run through of these as well. So again, great news. So the engine power we've managed to jump up from the 348, the stock figure, to 359, which is a really nice sizable chunk there. 
The wheel power again, as you can see again, but it's, it's all correlating the right ways. Our transmission losses, as you can see, have been kept pretty much the exact same throughout. So we, as soon as the, uh, the algorithm's working that out, we're all running about the same, which is nice. Torque is another huge one here, which is really good. We've seen it's jumped up from 501 to 517. So again, a real sizable chunk there we've managed to pick up. You can see it's really sitting on that, that peak as well, so you're gonna fill out the top end, um, as well as as it's pulling through on the BHP. You can see the curve for um, the IDNK50 and Iron Lakes 25 is sat nice, a little bit higher up. So all in all, made some fantastic gains in the dyno. We've got some uh, nice bit of carbon in the engine bay gonna be coming up, as well as that, gonna make some fantastic induction noise. These things really do make a really good noise when you've got a bit of an intake noise going on in the front. Um, really happy, we'll uh, see you for the next step.